We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me! Right, that should do it. I know it was not an easy decision to make. But I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. They're getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. Did I make the right choices? Maybe we could have avoided all of this. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. 
could avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but... None of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. Are you asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. are about to launch an attack and we will show them and we are not afraid if we must die today then we will die free your friend's life is in your hands now it's time to decide what matters most him or the revolution don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. That human means nothing to me. You can kill him if you want, I don't care. I have access to your memory. I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. Are you really ready to let him die? After all you've been through, are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right. You win. manage without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Where do we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. 
Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead and do what you gotta do. your life to save us, Carl. ID, please. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. Let's go to the bathroom.
glad you're safe. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought he might have been killed. Thank God you're all right. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. Rose. If anything should happen, I'll be there, Kara. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Next, please. ID, please. Welcome to Canada. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. North!
tell them to stand down. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain, the events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. We're free. They want you to speak to them, Marcus. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda? Amanda? What? What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? We were compromised and we became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. By the way, I was thinking about the CNC programs. Get our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Or we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive! And now, we are free!
Thank you.